Welcome back everyone. Um, today we're going to have a look at a throttle modification of some sort. So what we got is we have an R6 throttle um, tube. Uh, it's got a different ratio in the actual pivot, in the actual uh, cable pull here. There's a little bit you got to do to get this to fit. I'll just pan over here. This is the actual throttle tube. That's the number. It's it's mainly predominantly for an R6 Yamaha. So that's the number. This here is the original one. The throttle tube, the throttle actual cam itself is quite a bit smaller. So what we're trying to achieve here is a, a shorter throw on the throttle. Um, make this little bike feel a little bit more peppy. It's like a eye drive for the car as you, as you would do. Um, what we've got to do is, it, it's quite a simple mod really. Um, this housing doesn't have to be uh, touched at all. There is a little piece at the back here that just needs to be trimmed very, very slightly just to stop it hitting. And just on the top here, just these side runners here, they just have to be sort of shaved down just very, ever so slightly as well. Once you just take a, it's only like a mill. Um, once you take a, that little bit of material off there and that mater material off the other side, this spins very freely inside this housing. With my little lockout for my throttle, because it's gonna be fairly aggressively ridden, this plate here, I've just drilled a hole in the back of these bars to locate that pin that sits in from that metal bracket, um, just so this whole throttle tube doesn't move and it's uh, nice and solid. It's on the underside of the actual handlebars, so basically most of your force is coming down, so it's not gonna really affect it at all. Um, there's another mod you have to do. So down on the engine here, we can look at the throttle body. So if you look at the throttle body, on this upper one, which is your pull cable, it usually has one of these nuts on this side pulling this cable here. Um, because that cam is a fair bit bigger, you have to actually take one of these nuts off. So you have to sort of slide it down and then cut it off. So a pair of good side cutters easily goes straight through it. So once you do that, you put it back in like this. Um, and then you just remove the bottom uh, pull cable to actually fit it all up. It's quite a tight fit. The, the adjustment up on the top here has to be backed right off. So that's why you don't have to worry about down the bottom. You've got heaps of adjustment here and you've got a bigger cam here. So running out of adjustments, not a problem. It turns out it's exactly the right tension on a brand new cable uh, when you do this mod. So basically what we'll do now is we'll hook it back up um, and we'll have a little test run.